there, got this old uh, antique uh, type, uh, I guess, milk jug. So I got this, um, yeah, I'm going to make a terrarium out of this. I got a couple other plants I'm going to use. I'll be using some of these red begonias that, that I propagated in this little uh, glass jar here. And I got, this is one of my oldest terrariums. I think I'm going to use a couple of the plants up out of this one just because they, there's some nice ones in there. So, yeah, I, I'm going to um, create something and we'll have a nice terrarium and see how long we keep that one for. All right, check it out. There's a drainage layer, about an inch or so, half an inch all the way around. That'll work. Here I have a window screen, and I didn't pre-cut this one, but it looks like it's probably a good enough size, so we're going to go with that. I'm just going to shave the corners off so they're not so square. good right there bam perfect size love it all right so now that I got my drainage layer down got my window screen down to separate for the substrate so it doesn't get mixed in with the bottom then I'm gonna start putting the substrate in here and yeah See how deep it gets in the back. Some of the substrate did go down into the drainage layer, but that's okay. I'm not going to press about it too much right now. But you can see how, how elevated it is. We'll go up an angle just a little bit more, I think. Let's turn it this way. Here is one of my oldest terrariums. I think this is, I think we're on like three years with this guy now. Um, yeah, I haven't even taken this plastic bag off of here. I don't even think the water. So, yeah. Wow. As you see, it's super green. It looks very, very good in there. Let's give it the old smell test. Yeah. It smells like forest. It smells like a forest. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab one of these little trees here. I don't know what these guys are called. 
Um, I think I'll put it down in the description below. And this is just grass here, but I'm going to leave the grass in there, I think. I think I'm going to take one of these guys here, or maybe all three of them and do a little jungle skate. Yeah, I am getting rid of this skate, so I might as well. Let's see if we can take these out. Obviously, we're going to plant these in the background, so I'll do the biggest one, the furthest behind. We got a lot of sphagnum moss on here. Yeah, I think we're going to cut this long, you know, there's plenty of other roots on there to keep it alive. So we'll just cut off this long one here. Let me zoom back out so you can see me clearly. Yeah, so we got this long root right here. We'll cut this one off since we got all these other roots up here. So that should be fine. And we should be able to plant it just like that. I'm going to get one more cut on that guy too right there. Yep, and there we go. Beautiful little plant. So we can find out. So far, yeah, kind of like it like that. It's gonna look better once I get some more plants up in there. More plants, more plants. So here's a, one of the red begonias I'm gonna use. That leaf still looks really good. There's a whole bunch of little babies on there as well. As you see, there's also uh, roots going down the whole thing of it. So I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm actually gonna keep this, but I'm gonna cut these off and replant them. But I'm gonna keep this growing and see how many I can produce out of that. I also read that if you put this in soil, um, it'll grow out from each of these little veins. Uh, uh, leaves will grow out from there. So yeah, we'll test these out and try it out. So there, I just cut it off and the leaf is still intact. Still roots there. I'll put this right back in a glass jar. And um, yeah, we'll see if we can grow some more just like that. All right, so I got a rubber bunny in there. see how that does in that little spot there. Obviously it's going to be hard to tell for a little bit. It's got to grow a lot larger. 
But yeah, keep on going. Alright, so I got some Royal Hustler Ivy here. Um, these are all just cuttings, snipped them off, you know, the mother plant. And uh, we'll see if I can get these to root and, and grow in here. I, I don't know if they will. It says that they do grow by cuttings. But I must probably get some rooting hormone put on in there before I slip it down the, in the substrate. Alright? Now it says online that you can use aloe vera as a rooting hormone. So I'm literally just taking this and sticking it down into the aloe gel. And we'll see um, if the internet tells the truth or not. Yeah. out of my 10 gallon terrarium the first 10 gallon terrarium i ever made took this out of there i'm taking that thing apart so yeah i'm just gonna use it i'm gonna put it right here in this corner i think i think it'll be good in there Let's see if we can get a piece of that i mean i hope it'll look good man. i don't know i'm just creating this little Another one of my very early terrariums here. It's a nice little piece. I'm just gonna cut some of the moss off of here, and I think I'm gonna, whatever that plant is there. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'm gonna take a cutting of that. I think and plant in there. We'll see how that grows as well. So here I have multiple cuttings of this little guy here. I'm gonna plant them separately. That should grow pretty well in this little state. And then I got a bunch of moss that I've also cut up here. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that around. Hopefully that'll start growing. And um, yeah, root the whole area with moss around. It. So you see it there. So I got the the mm, ferns in there. The other plants are in there. I got the um, yeah. So. Let's keep adding. See, so yeah, I'm just adding some mosses around. Again, these are mosses that I clipped. Um, just just uh, clipped off of other terrariums that I have, and I'm um, just using those mosses, spreading them around, and seeing if they'll come back and grow again. That's the, that's the whole purpose, purpose of this. 
just want to see if they can grow again, which I believe that they can, so I want to see. You find just different spots just to lay the moss in. Digging it. I like the scape. I'm enjoying the way it's looking. So we're just gonna go with it like just like that. later. to the end if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button please hit that like button and i will see you on the next one thank you